These teams are the workshop run by science teachers initiative in Intinda are making various science kits that form the 50 parts of 195 items that form a mini lab that government introduced last year in primary schools. The kits include magnets, different body organs, circuit systems, and the skeleton among other items. Government has distributed 667 mini laboratory kits cabinets since last year. According to UNEB, 97,109 primary seven candidates failed subjects like science and mathematics. The government is hoping that the new mini laboratories sent to over 400 schools will ease learning. This initiative was launched and flagged off by the Minister of Education and Sports last year in October 2022. And the main reason why this initiative has been brought on board, one, there has been a lot of challenges of teaching science subjects in a very practical manner. You cannot teach science subjects without demonstrating. At Bogabwe Church of Uganda Primary School, the teacher is conducting a science class. What is this part here? Yes. And the pupils are today studying different parts of the skeleton. As opposed to reading from the Manila charts, the pupils get hands-on learning, which is easier for them to remember. After conducting the lesson, the pupils get hands-on to explain what they have learned. This one is called a scar. This one is called a rib cage. This one is a humulus. And this one, it might be a radius or urna. Learning has been made easier for the learners. Also, the teachers find it easier to teach using this model. Learning on charts, we are not able to see all the parts on the skeleton. But when learning with the kids, we are able to see all the parts on a skeleton. For example, the spinal cord. When the teacher draws a skeleton on a shirt, he may forget to draw other parts of the skeleton. When I'm teaching about electricity, and I bring a real dry cell, which we have brought in the kit. I bring a real dry cell, the child will see the dry cell, and also the child will see the ameter, everything which was there. As, as part of me, one, I was not a good artist. I could not draw properly the, the, the charts, those diagrams on the charts. At Iganga Boys Boarding Primary School, one of the oldest schools in eastern Uganda, we found another teacher conducting a lesson on the digestive system. Which organ are found in the mouth? The teacher admitted that learners found this hard to comprehend. In another class, the boys are learning different types of magnets and their characteristics. Previously, magnets would be drawn on the blackboard with teachers only explaining how they function. It is hard to demonstrate how magnets repel or attract objects using diagrams. Unlike poles of a magnet, uh, attract themselves. But I used not to understand this thing. But until when they brought these magnets, that's when I came to realize it. The learners have started improving, like Okelo Philip, who is in primary seven. Before they bring the tools to us, I didn't perform well. But in the second set, when they brought the tools, I learned about these things and uh, I physically named and knew them. The school expects better results in the coming primary living examinations. I want to give you just a, an example. Before these kits, uh, we had, for example, 32 distinctions in 2020 PLE results, science. Uh, when we received these kits, in the mock of last year, we moved from 32 distinctions to 45 in our district mock. And now that the performance has changed, the future is bright. We, have, uh, we just want to, to request the government to provide us with more science kits in la other lower classes. We are hoping to move in a phased manner so that we are in position to roll it across the country. In order to allow sustainability of some of the delicate tools, this is a message from the minister 
to school teachers and administrations. Please take good care of them, clean them from time to time. This is the girl bladder. It is used for storing bile juice made by... Such kids prepare learners for science subjects in the next level, and it is easier to see and remember than to imagine and recall. The government says that they have so far rolled out the mini laboratory kits over 400 primary schools in the country, but that's just a drop in the ocean because there are over 10,000 primary schools across the country. And since it's well known that primary education is the foundation of any science discipline, it remains to be seen on how government is going to set its priorities in the face of hard economic times. Sidil Biarhanga, NTV.